I am Dr. Praveen Chandra. I am an international cardiologist and I am working in India in one of the biggest private hospitals and uh, my boss is a surgeon and I know that you are a cardiac surgeon of the one of the greatest repute in the world and to for everybody to know that this is Dr. Otavio Alfieri, the famous Dr. Alfieri who actually brought this idea of putting a stitch on the mitral valve which is famously known as Alfieri stitch practice worldwide and he is here today. So welcome Dr. Alfieri and please share with us as to why it is so important to do this kind of therapy rather than replacing the valve. Why repair is more better, much more helpful to the patient compared to the valve replacement for patients of mitral regurgitation. This uh, type of repair consists of uh, approximating the free edge of the leaflets uh, exactly at the point of regurgitation. It is a, a very simple maneuver, so simple that can be reproduced with a catheter. And the interventional cardiologist uh, took advantage of this concept and uh, uh, constructed uh, a uh, device which is able to replicate uh, the stitch. The advantage of a transcatheter procedure is enormous because there is no incision in the chest, there is no extracorporeal circulation, there is no cardiac arrest. So really for the patient is really a minimally invasive procedure. And the results are surprisingly very, very good in many uh, subsets of patients not in all patients, but in the great majority of patients with mitral regurgitation, this maneuver can be very helpful. Right. So as you said that it can be done to a large number of patients who are having severe mitral regurgitation, which is symptomatic. So we all understand now that it can be done for both primary MR and secondary <coughs> MR. So in primary, a lot of patients in India have primary MR and uh, especially at that stage, they do not want to undergo a surgery. So is it a good idea or is it reasonable to offer them a MyClip treatment if they have primary mitral regurgitation and if it is anatomically based on the transesophageal echo findings, if it is doable, is it okay to do that or should not be done? Yes, uh, it depends on the etiology of mitral regurgitation. For instance, if you have uh, mitral regurgitation on the basis uh, of a rheumatic uh, valve disease, uh, usually the leaflets are very thick and uh, the transcatheter edge-to-edge -edge technique can produce stenosis of the valve. On the other hand, the majority of the patient with a degenerative mitral regurgitation can have a benefit from the MyClip uh, procedure.